Hello everybody, Holly Randall here. I am at the Brazzers Lounge at AVN 2023. They just had the Brazzers Hall of Fame and some of your favorite adult stars have been inducted. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna say hello. We're gonna see um, how everybody feels about this incredible honor and maybe like what got them here. So let's start over here with the one and only Mick Blue. Hey Holly. Hi Mick, how are you? Oh, absolutely amazing. And so you were just inducted into the Hall of Fame. How do you feel about that? I think it's absolutely surreal. You know, uh, when I when I got the email uh, that I'm inducted uh, into the Hall of Fame, my brother, I was like, holy fucking crap, you know? That is uh, such an honor and uh, such a surprise. And I'm super happy to be here. I, I have to say, like, I don't, I don't consider it a surprise at all. You're one of the strongest male talents in the industry. Brazzers hires you all the time. Was it really that much of a surprise? Well, uh, maybe maybe in your your view and uh, Brazzers view not because uh, that's why I'm here. But for myself, you know, it's it, it was a surprise and I was super happy or I'm super happy about it. Especially to share this honor with uh, the great group of fellas here that I know since many, many years. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, absolutely amazing, beautiful, and super cool. And thank you to Brothers. What do you think got you here? Like, what, why do you think you got inducted into the Hall of Fame? That you've reached this pinnacle of your career? Uh, well, um, one reason is for, for, like as I said, for getting old, I guess, you know? <laughs> uh, and uh, doing this uh, business for now um, 23 years. And. Uh, um, I guess uh, for doing uh, great good work for Brothers and uh, that's the way how they show their appreciation which is absolutely amazing. Fantastic. Well Mick, thank you so much. It's always so good to see you and um, congratulations. Thank you so much Holly. Good to see you too and um, yeah, man, let's have fun today. All right, we are going to go to the man, the myth, the legend, Hello. the man who's had every job in the world, the one and only Johnny Sins. What's up? So Johnny, you were just inducted into the Brazos Hall of Fame. How does that feel? It feels amazing, really. I, like I said, pretty much my very first scenes were for Brazos. It wasn't even, Brazos wasn't even a company back then. It was just a couple of websites. And literally my first scenes were for them. So now still on Brazos, you can go back and see scenes from 15, I don't even know what year it was, 2006. Some of my very first scenes, which was pretty crazy. So I've been pretty much with Brazzers my whole entire career. What do you think got you here? Um, I think just being consistent. And for me, I because when I was when I was younger before porn, I'd see guys and all in like every scene, and I'm like, who are these guys? I'm like, I want to be one of those guys. So when I got in the business, I wanted to work every fucking day, twice a day, as many scenes as I could. So that's probably why I'm here. Okay, so to wrap it up, can you uh, give me your best browser's face? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Johnny. Thank you, Holly. All right. One cannot think about browsers and not think about Kieran Lee, the man with the million-dollar penis. Kieran, I don't think it's any surprise that you were inducted into the Hall of Fame today. Yeah, a little bit. But that million dollar insurance policy was a long like, time ago. It's had a lot of wear and tear on it now, so it's probably only worth about 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kieran, I mean, you're synonymous with the Brazzers band. Your brand, you've probably been their longest running contract star. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, longest contract guy, um, 15 years. It's, basically, if I was a dog, I'd have been put down by now, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think got you here? Like, what's your secret to your success? Um... Kind of thing, just staying kind of. I, I know this sounds staying humble and just keeping the work ethic. Never, just you know, never going crazy. Like you hear all these crazy stories, people going out, drinking, doing drugs. That's not really what the industry's like, as such. And especially for a guy, you can't do that because your dick's just never going to work. Like you look at Johnny, you look at Scott. You look, these boys have been doing it for years, and they're dedicated. They're like athletes in a way. And yeah, that's the best way. Really. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I mean, you guys are definitely sexual athletes. So congratulations. To wrap it up, we need to see your browser's face because it has become meme-worthy. 
I'm going to try, but I've had that much Botox, I don't know if I can still do it anymore. <laughs> but I tried, it was one of <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, even with all that Botox, Karen, you can still pull it off. Thanks. I'm really mad right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So next up. We have the man who, um, it was so funny because I heard earlier they were introducing you and they called you the man who puts up with no bullshit on set. And I was like, that's an understatement. What? Scott Nails. I'm always nice. I'm nice to everybody. You are nice, but I think that we can all say that you don't, you don't put up with bullshit, right? It means you establish boundaries. Uh, I try and be professional and uh, get the job done and... You know, it's nice when everybody does it, when the crew does it, and the females do it. So, um, how does it feel to be inducted into the Brazos Hall of Fame? Uh, I feel old as fuck. Uh, I've been, shit, I think I came to one of these like 20 years ago. Uh, yeah, I feel old as fuck, so. Thanks it's, for rubbing it in. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I'm older than you, yeah, so. Yeah, right there. Yeah, we've been around a long time. Yeah. Rode hard, put away well. We certainly have. Um, and uh, what do you think got you here? Like, what's the secret to your success, your longevity? Um, I don't know, man. My dick, I guess. Blowjobs. Always staying hard is the answer, Scott Nels. You've never not been hard. Even when you're fucking girls you don't like, your dick is still hard. Look at his face. Look at his face. I'm not lying. We, me and my dick have a good relationship. He pays the bills. And I drink the beer, you know? It's easy. It works. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Scott, and congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Okay, next we have the beautiful... I know, I'm so excited. I have my own seat. You've been standing, and you look too good to be, like, you know, standing. Thank you. Phoenix, how are you doing? Uh, well, besides crying my eyes out because of Bridget, a lot better now. Wait, why were you crying? Because she was really... Um, I don't... Why do you want to make me cry again? Oh, okay, no. No, she, like, just said, like... Nice. really sweet things about me and like it's nice to see the growth over like the last 17 years of like we all were young like there's jealousy when you're young and now it's like yo I want you to do good I want you to do good like everybody should be happy you know so um what do you think got you here to this point in your career where you're a browser's hall of fame uh, my tits at first, because they were a, a boob-only site, and then my butt when they decided to be a butt site. No, <laughs> actually, that's all true. But uh, I just think they really liked my personality as a human more than, like, the porn star aspect, you know? And they're just like, yo, get Phoenix, she'll do it. And I was like, I'll make the scene. I was in every Brazzers Live 5 for, like, the first 15. Like, anything they needed, I've always been there. And then, you know, these guys have to stay hard for me, otherwise I'm basic as fuck. And luckily, they stay hard for me. <laughs> Especially, you know, Scott Nell and Karen and Johnny and Nick I'm a, and Charles. I like that. I was looking at the group. I was like, yeah, I, these, this is my yes list. We're doing good. <laughs> It does, like, especially after all of these years in the industry, it definitely does feel like, like a family, right? 110%. It's always been that way. Like, I mean, you've known me since I was a baby. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm always shot by your pool. Like, we've done everyone here I have known for at least 17 years. I remember, like, the first time I shot you, we were doing a boy-girl scene, and it was just vaginal. And then you were like, can I just put it in my ass? Can we just make this anal? And I was like, what? Yes, I do. And it was on the pool table. And yes, I remember everything. We did the photo shoot by the pool, and then we went up to the mom's place, and we went and did it in there. Yeah. Oh, yes. But it accidentally always turns anal. Like, Quentin James, every scene I'm in, I'm like, oh, if I don't make it anal, it's not going to be good. It's fine. I'm all, I think it turned the Mick Blue scene into anal, and it wasn't supposed to be either, right? Probably. Yeah, it's weird. It always falls in my ass. That's why I'm here. <laughs> That is a see that, and the moral of the story is just to always make it anal. Yeah, I love that. That's true. Well, thank you so much, Phoenix, and always so good to see you. Thank you, Google. All right, now we have Ariel Ferreira. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? you look I'm beautiful. Oh. Say that one. Say it one more time because the mic was off of you. Eres hermosa. Oh, you look beautiful. Muchas gracias. <laughs> So, Ariel, what do you think, um, well, first of all, how does it feel to be in the Brazos Hall of Fame? Um, I feel old. 
That literally every single person has said that that I've asked. I don't think of these awards to people that are dead. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So um, no, it's wonderful. It's nice that um, it's nice to be recognized and to be thought of. Um, I think we've all put some hard work in, and it's nice to be part of the Brazzers family. I've always appreciated um, just working with the crew and all the hot scenes that they create. Um, and of course, the talent is um, always makes it fun. And of course, the fans. We have so many fans, so it's, it's great. What do you think brought you here? What is the secret to your success? Um, to put it plainly, I just love fucking. Like, that's it. That's a good enough reason, I feel like. <laughs> well, thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next we have one of my favorite people who I'm so happy to see. Oh, I love you so much. Charles Dara, how are you doing? I'm living the dream, just happy to be here. So, um, we've known each other for a long time. You've always been such a solid performer. I know you left the business for a little while and then you came back and you've been like, you know, solidly representing browsers. How does it feel like to be in the Hall of Fame? Oh, it's, it's absolutely incredible. I'm, I'm just blessed to be here. I don't know how I got here, but I'm lucky to be here. So I'm surrounded by such great talent, such great producers and people. Thank you for me, let, letting me be here. I love that. I love like just uh, your attitude of gratitude. I just feel like is really, really inspiring. What do you think got you here today? Not pissing off too many people. <laughs> I think that's the bottom line. If you can just get here and keep your mouth shut, you'll be all right. But if you talk, you're probably going to insult somebody. So keep your opinions to yourself because that's not what you get paid for. This is great advice for uh, new guys in the industry. Absolutely. Well, Charles, thank you so much. And so happy to see you out and about. It's great to see you, Holly. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All right. Next, we have the... I'm going to switch with you. We have the beautiful. Oh my God! I would love to be a sandwich. Sandwich is my favorite sandwich. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have the amazing Bridget B. That's me. And the incredible Madison Ivy. Oh, you, my goodness. Wow, I feel. Don't mind while we pet. I'm a little sweaty. I'm getting kind of shiny. I miss you too. So much, so much. Working with you has always been like my highlight, my favorite. Everything this woman does, perfection. Oh, I love this. Let's make this interview about me and how great it is to work with me. I'm so down for that. Well, we love to have female voices. <laughs> and also, when they are so nice and they are so talented, yes, we will, we will sing it to the highest praises all the time. Because we don't, we don't lie. Uh, like we don't fake orgasms. We everything's real. Of course, yeah. Of course, of course. So as much as I would love to make this show about me, let's talk about um, you guys both being inducted into the Brazzers Hall of Fame. Madison, how does that feel for you? It feels crazy. I definitely feel old now. Like it's, it feels good though, honestly. We Everyone's love answer. <laughs> Brazzers so much. I feel like. This is like an alternate reality because I would have never shot for Brazzers if some random girl didn't show up to her shoot. And they're like, well, let's throw this little one in there. And that's how I got my shot. I'm learning. No way. Right? Isn't that funny? Like, thank you to the girl who didn't show up. You made my career. So was that your first Brazzers scene you were a fill-in? That was. That was my first Brazzers scene. And it was my birthday, and his dick came out of a box, and it had a balloons tied around it. It was magnificent. It was a good day. So, so technically, it wasn't my birthday, actually. I was stealing this girl's birthday. <laughs> well, I feel like you definitely deserve that. So, Bridget, um, how does it feel to be inducted in the Hall of Fame? Um, it, it feels like a little bit like imposter syndrome because I don't have kids, so and I play MILFs. Brazzers set me down as a MILF. So when I'm in front of a real MILF, I'm like, I'm just, like, uh, the hard work that you all put in, you know, this is like not it. <laughs> However, um, for a company to put so much trust and like give us so much uh, power to the uh, performer, 
is something that we've been so grateful for. And um, I, I wish them nothing. I'm spinning all over the place because I'm my big old teeth. Um, I, more success in the future. And I thank them for the position that they put me in to succeed. And I couldn't be more appreciative. Yeah, you bring up a really good point. Um, Browsers has a really great reputation for treating their talent really well. Is that like your experience too, Madison? Oh, the best. I mean, there's never been another company that I felt so at home and comfortable and just like loved. Like Brazzers is love. They bring everything you want with just beautiful, amazing talent, incredible directors who the vision this woman has. Ooh, makes my pussy wet. Oh. You know, it's funny that you say the vision that I have, but I always feel like the scenes that I've always shot with you have been so collaborative, and you always style it, and sometimes you bring props, and it's your idea, so I just feel like I'm always just like fulfilling your vision. But you have that eye, like I will see my body in ways I've never seen it before because of you. You capture the feminine form so masterfully. But, oh. oh, thank you. Oh, you guys did that one where uh, you first came back, the anal, if I'm not, like, goddess? Yes. Was that the two of you? Yes. Now, I didn't even know that, but as I'm thinking here, it's something that I really enjoyed, walk, like, looking aesthetically. It makes sense that it was the two of you. <laughs> yeah, that was, so that was a scene that Kieran directed, but uh, Madison got me to take the photos. Yeah, I remember that. I'll never forget that one. I wrote the script, I designed all the wardrobe, and I insisted. I was like, if Holly doesn't do the photos, no one gets my butthole. No one had to hear that. And actually, like, random aside, that was the first day I ever met Abigail Mack. That's oh. right. And Abigail actually was filling in for Kieran's beautiful wife, who was pregnant at the time. And she was supposed to be my extra. But, oh, my God, the amazing Abigail Mack came on the scene. And I will never forget just looking at her beautiful, glistening body. Yeah. So, uh, Bridget, what do you think got you here today? What's the secret to your success in this industry? Swallowing. I, I can't believe I'm doing it. I just Sw swallowing. It's swallowing, not spitting. Is that yeah. the secret? Swallowing? I mean, it is. <laughs> I can't believe I just was speaking with gum. That is so unladylike. I'm so sorry. Um, I think what it is is staying true to myself, um, never having forced to do anything. It has been the exact leeway to all of this here because it shows on camera if you don't want to be there. So if I've had a bad day or I just don't feel like shooting for whatever reason, it's better not to show up um, as much as it would hurt, but get the replacement, but really wanting to be there so that the hour spent on between all of us is worth it or else all you guys wouldn't get the quality entertainment that Browsers is known for. Yeah, no, that absolutely makes sense. And then Madison, what about you? What's the, what has brought you here today? What got you into the Browsers Hall of Fame? I think just the love for sucking dick, <laughs> truly. Like, my God, I love going down on that pipe so hard. It's kind of wrong. It haunts my dreams. Like, I swear, I dream of just running through a field of dicks. <laughs> All right, well, you heard it straight from the girls. Um, Browsers Hall of Fame, Field of Dicks. I mean, uh, you know, what else is there to life? <laughs> All right, I am signing off here at the AVN Expo at the Browsers booth, Browsers Hall of Fame. And um, congratulations, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.